Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. I feel like this one gonna be the start of December. What's the date today? I feel like this one's gonna be the first one of December. So happy December guys. We put our Christmas tree up last night. I'll give you a sneak peek, but I obviously wanna show you in the dark. It looks nowhere near as good in the day. <laughs> Does it? But yeah, I'll show you in the dark with the lights. I actually didn't take as long as I thought it was gonna take. It looked, it took like an hour. I put it on my Instagram and the amount of people that messaged me and said, that looks so professionally done. <laughs> my nan, and my nan rang me this morning and she was like, where is that Christmas tree? Bear in mind, she's been here a lot of times. She was like, where is that Christmas tree that I've just seen on your store? I was like, in the kitchen and she was like did you do that that looks that looks like something you'd see in the window selfridges and i was like nan don't big me up like that but yeah like i said i'll show you later on with the lights and stuff because that's when it really comes to life you know so sorry if i'm always hunched over like this but if i moved you higher up you'd be too far away you're on like a little stand at the minute so i'm always like hunched over here but yeah i'm just gonna start an early dinner i had lunch really early jamie is out tonight he has a game tonight so it's just me and yeah this part of the video is kind of sponsored by HelloFresh. i'm also gonna put on the screen my code which is neville 6025 and that is for 60 percent off your first box and 25 percent off your next eight boxes so essentially like two months 25% off every week. Even though this video is sponsored, me and Jamie have HelloFresh every week. And I will shamelessly say that I use my own code <laughs> to save money on it and it is so worth it. So yeah, I'll leave all the information down below and on the screen. I've actually been looking forward to this one because Jamie doesn't like cheese, but I love mac and cheese. So I really selfishly on HelloFresh ordered a mac and cheese for a time that Jamie wasn't gonna be around. Pushing up my mac and cheese. Does anybody else love to watch things as they cook? This is a little hack. If you actually don't like cooking, put something on the TV, or on your iPad, or on your phone while you're cooking, and it makes the time go so much quicker. And then, basically, as like a meal kind of prep kind of thing, because Jamie tends to eat at football at lunch times, I'm gonna dish this up into like a Tupperware and have it for lunch. So to be fair, HelloFresh is really good even if you live alone because you can use it as like a meal prep thing, cook one for dinner and then have one for lunch the next day, take it to work, you know? I used to do that all the time when I worked in an office in London to make my mum make more food and make the extra so i could take it into the office so yeah that is a good little idea this was a meal for two but i probably could get two lunches out of this and there you have it if that's cool down and then that can go in the fridge for either my lunch or dinner when i'm home alone and can't be bothered to cook that yeah, we're basically just spotify wrapped has just come out so if anyone cares about our spotify wrap you going first. Um, okay, you can go I'll first go first. Because... Number one, Luke Holmes, no shot there. Listen to him the most in March. Number two, Chris Brown. Listen to most in February. Billy. Listen to most in August. Oh, is that when Barbie come out? Quite like Number you. four, Sizzle. Listen to her the most in general. I think that's when her album come out. And number five, Kelsey Ballerini, which is a bit rogue, considering I only had this song collect, but saved. I think that's quite a versatile line up. What's up, guys? Luke here. So, uh, apparently, you guys are my biggest fans, which is super true. Awesome. I am a big fan, Luke. It's a bad start, isn't it? A song wise. Yeah. Hello, Louise Shackleton. You <laughs> didn't even pay for his own Spotify. Share account. <laughs> Little pond. Spotify. Number one. Chris Breezy. Chris Brown. Two. We were intrigued by this, weren't we? Yeah. I do like I do like Drake to be fair, but I don't feel like I listen. Three. Billy Billie Eilish. Eilish. Four. Little baby. Oh, yeah. In the background. He was gonna be in there somewhere. 
Sorry. He's brilliant. And five, he snuck in. Good job, Blake. So there's my top five there. Interesting. I know the vibes. Look at that sky. Not. So pretty. Look Billy. Up. Billy rang me. Hi. Hi. It's fine. It's fine. Love you too. Oh, good. Can't wait. Catch it. <laughs> anyway, that's our Spotify. 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 That's our Spotify wrapped. So you're a little bit high because <laughs> I've used my phone like case to stick you on the wardrobe. I'm currently sat in the baby's nursery, but I am going down to London this weekend for my baby shower and my friend Lex's baby shower. So I'm just putting together her little bag of goodies. I've got a mix of like things she wanted that she had on her list and then a couple of other like little bits that basically I've just picked up <laughs> as I've been shopping for myself. Um, yeah, I'm just, I don't know, I don't ever know how to make like tissue paper look good on a bag. <laughs> oh, I've ripped it already, so that's good. I'm just about to basically start clearing the shit off the table downstairs and kind of get in stuff organised. It's too early to like do any washing and stuff of his bits because I know I want them to like smell like all nice and fresh when he gets here. Um, will that do, do you think? Yeah, that will do. So yeah, I'm not going to wash anything. I'm just literally going to put it I've already sorted it into piles into another room of like age just so I could see what I need more of and what I don't need any more of. Um, so yeah, I'm going to hang everything up and put everything in drawers and then wash it closer to the time. But yeah, we basically put up all the furniture. Say hello. Say, I don't think I'm going to like having a little brother because I don't like to share attention. But you're going to be the best, aren't you? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we spent basically like seven hours yesterday putting up all of the furniture. Um, and honestly, it looks better than I thought it was even going to look. Like, I'm just, we're so happy with it. Um, and yeah, like, it's not even like furnished. It obviously just kind of still looks like an empty room just with furniture put in. We need to make it like, I don't know, like accessorise it and furnish it more. Um, we're deciding on a rocking chair. We, this is going to be like a book corner. So we've got bookshelves and stuff um, that we need to put up. All the kind of, um, we need to put the frames on the wall. We need a rug. We need a lamp. Um, and then, yeah, it will all be done. We also built our next to me crib um we went for the snooze one i also didn't sh i didn't really vlog the first trimester and i know i've moaned like about how i had um breakouts and stuff but i never really showed it but i'm not sure if you can see they're starting up again <laughs> um so i've had a breakout there i've got one on the top of my eyebrow i think in the third trimester your hormones like increase again so I'm just waiting on the inevitable of kind of breaking out a little bit, but it is what it is. It's also the view you get from baby boy's room. We see some amazing sunsets. Oh, I said I would show you our Christmas tree. Let me go downstairs and show you. There she is. Looks so much better in the dark, doesn't it? Bottom bit is actually too small for the tree we didn't know that when we bought it but you can't really tell and yeah we kind of went for like a mixture of gold glass silver baubles 
we haven't got a star for the top of the tree or like an angel or anything. We really need to get one. But the like bubble baubles are always my favourite. <laughs> they get like pride and place in the middle. That is our Christmas tree. Oh my God, guys, do I have an update for you? <laughs> I don't even know where to start. I'm literally sat on the floor. <laughs> but so it is now after my baby shower. <laughs> I went down to London on Saturday morning. I drove down Saturday morning straight to my friend Lexi's baby shower and had Lexi's baby shower, drove home. Woke up Sunday, had my baby shower. I didn't actually vlog any of it. I'll insert some pictures kind of as I'm talking so you can kind of see like the vibe. But yeah, had my baby shower. And then yesterday, yesterday was just a day from hell. So I woke up, Jamie was in London for his Christmas do. So he was getting the train back to where I'm from. I went to pick him up from the station. So I'm driving to the station, all fine, I cough, just <laughs> cough, and out of nowhere, sorry if this is TMI trigger warning, if you don't like sick, I throw up, all. well actually, I don't throw up all over myself, I throw up into my hand, so I am then driving down like a main road, with nowhere to pull over, cupping <laughs> my own sick, and I'm someone that like, if I see sick, it makes me more sick. So I'm like, what the hell do I do? So I'm like juggling my own sick basically until I can pull over. Thank God I had wipes in the car. Um, and I like sorted myself out. So I thought, right, this is just, so I thought, right, let's just restart the day after this. So I've like cleaned everything up. Luckily it literally just went on the sleeve of my jumper. So I like got home, changed everything fine got to the station to pick Jamie up and I'm like sat stationary parked and Jamie's just got in the car just ready to pull off and somebody has gone into the side of my car and just basically there's a big long scratch from the back of my car all the way to the front of my car and I'm thinking oh my god like this is not what I need today so I now have to sort this car out so that's that and I thought things come in three like what's next me and Jamie have then left London we're driving back up to Leeds I had a midwife appointment at four o'clock so this my this midwife was actually standing for my usual midwife and she was just kind of getting a bit of my background and she was like oh how's your pregnancy been and I'd said like oh how I'd, how sick I'd been at first um and it was mentioned that I'd just randomly out of the blue thrown up over myself <laughs> today and then we like moved on and then when I was at the baby shower I know people mean well but I think I probably had like five or six people say like oh like your face is filling out um obviously it's probably like water retention but like I can see it in your face now you've got like <laughs> a chubby face which I've noticed myself it's kind of like around here I notice it the most um and we were talking about my baby shower and that got mentioned that I was like, oh, people think I've put that weight on in my face. And then we've like moved on and she was like, you're not suffering any headaches, are you? And I was like, oh yeah, actually, actually I've got a banging headache now and I've had a headache for the past like three days. And she was like, right okay she was like obviously you wouldn't be putting these things together but I just want to send you off to be tested for preeclampsia there was nothing when obviously you go to a midwife there was nothing in my urine and my blood pressure was fine so she was like it's probably nothing but obviously you can't be too precautious with babies so me and Jamie went straight from the midwife appointment. We actually had our first antenatal class last night, which we had to miss because we headed straight to the hospital to get tested for preeclampsia. Got to hospital at about quarter to five, got strapped up to like the monitor, and then you just basically have to wait for the monitor to go green. They kind of say it should take about half an hour, and it took about 50 minutes for my monitor to go green, which they say it can take up to an hour, so that all... I believe was fine. I didn't really get too much of an update on that. And then we just basically had to wait for a doctor to come see us. 
everybody knows how understaffed the NHS is. I hadn't no like I've not really been in hospital or anything and we saw firsthand yesterday how like how understaffed the NHS is. Like we were fine, we had a bed, we had our own little thing, so we was we ordered <laughs> a five guys because obviously I got there at five. I was done on the monitor by about half past six. And then there was like, well, we've basically just got to wait for a doctor to come and see you um, and update you on everything. Um, but doctors are obviously being pulled from like A&E to then to like delivery to then a ward. So there's obviously they're so understaffed. Um, so yeah, we had our own little room. We, it got to like half nine, I think, and we were just starving. <laughs> And Jamie went out and he was just like, do you have any idea, like, how long or what do we do about food? They were like, you can order food in, we have no idea how long it's going to be, it's like, waiting for a bus. So, we ordered five guys and we said, like, it could have been so much worse, like, we could have just been sat on a chair, like, we had a bed, our own little area, we ordered food, so we were just, <laughs> just chilling. Um, and then, long story short, the doctor come back round and he said, oh, hi. Um, he said, it's definitely not preeclampsia, which is good. I knew that. And I know that sounds stupid, but like, I feel like you have a gut feeling when there's something wrong. And I didn't have that gut feeling that anything was actually wrong. I don't know why, but I feel like we were sat there for ages. And obviously you want to hear there's nothing wrong. Um, but because we were sat there so long, I was then like, what if something is wrong? Um, but yeah, the doctor basically come in and said, it's not preeclampsia um, because your blood pressure's fine and there isn't, I think it's protein in your urine. Again, I could be so wrong. Um, there's none of that showing in your urine. But basically what they're worried about is the headaches. So obviously I've given the doctor my whole history of the migraines that I had at up until like 21 weeks, um, the sickness, the headaches now, and all of that stuff. And there was some abnormality in my urine, but they're testing that. And they've taken loads of blood. So the midwife took blood anyway, the hospital have taken blood. So they're going to test if there's anything causing the headaches, basically, because they're just a bit concerned that one, I've had a headache for like four days straight. And it's not gone, it doesn't go with paracetamol. And obviously I went through up until 21 weeks with these really awful migraines. So that's an update on that. I personally think it's like my body telling me to just slow down a bit. Um, Obviously I had like the longest weekend where I had like Lexi's baby shower, my baby shower. I left really early on Saturday morning to drive down. I spent the whole day like driving up yesterday and like I've been literally like feel like I've not sat down and I feel like the the headaches maybe are just my body's way of saying like chill out so that's kind of my plan from here on out is to not do loads um but yeah that was my day yesterday <laughs> But yeah, obviously all good. Baby is fine. He is measuring perfectly. Heartbeat when we like listen to it on the monitor is good. Um, so yeah, other than just me suffering headaches all the bleeding time, um, all is well in the world. And that was just my update of, of yesterday. Um, but we've, I've just taken this little miss to get her, well, it is to get her top up jabs, like her booster jabs. Oh, and I was gonna end this kind of vlog here. I'm not sure how long it is or what's in it, to be honest. Like my brain is all over the place. But I remembered that basically, originally I filmed a PLT, um, H&M and Zara Hall, hello, um, a couple of weeks ago. And the PLT part of it was an ad and I had to separate the PLT from the H&M and Zara Hall, but, I still feel like there were so many good bits in that haul and I don't want it to go to waste, if you know what I mean. So with that being said, I wanted to insert kind of that part of that video um, on the end here. 
to show you guys what I picked up from H&M and Zara recently. Well, I put a picture of the deliveries that I had and people was like, please do a haul. So I feel like it would be a waste if I didn't. So I'm going to insert those clips here. Sorry if they literally start a bit abruptly. It's because <laughs> I started with the PLT part and then obviously moved into the H&M part. So it is going to start really abruptly <laughs> with like no introduction, but that is why. Um, and yeah, that will be kind of this video. I feel like it's an all over the place one, um, but I feel like that's life at the minute. We will see you in the next one. In the next one. Who's a good girl and had all the jobs? Yeah, you are. You are. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and cue the haul. I'm going to go to Zara next because, surprisingly, I've not actually got that much from Zara. So first up, we have this jacket still has the tag in i'm not gonna lie this wasn't the cheapest this was 90 pounds 89.99 not the cheapest jacket hello <laughs> me and jamie Hi. think this jacket looks like i'm out of game of thrones um isn't that what you, you captured that you captured don't we what i think i look like i'm from game of thrones uh not one sits you know dressed up oh okay yeah to be fair when i first tried this on i had like my hair scrunched up in a in a bun no makeup on and i literally looked like i'd just rolled it out of like a cave in a thousand years ago but yeah when it styled nicely and again something over something the top of something like this it works it, does, yeah, it, does, it looks nice thanks ah. very warm and cozy so it's giving john snow <laughs> so that was the first thing i got from zara we have this chunky white creamy scarf which this was actually really cheap i took the tag off this because i wore it the other day but i think this was like 25 pounds good for the quality the quality of this scarf is good yeah 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 it's giving go on what's it giving it's giving christmas it's giving christmas okay we, we like this who started that by the way i don't know <laughs> who started giving i don't know but giving. yeah we like this scarf a lot i feel like i'm gonna get a lot of use out of this scarf next we have these boots i just didn't really have any kind of under the knee plain black boots and i don't think these were too expensive i think these were like 50 ish pounds i think but something that will last years i've got like i've got lower boots that i bought a couple of years ago that i still wear now so yeah for 50 pound i feel like you're gonna wear these for the next couple of years so that was my kind of thought behind these ones and then lastly from zara so yeah i only picked up four bits from zara um is this what is this called like um what is this called like sweater vest but it is backless so yeah probably wouldn't wear it with leggings i mean might do but yeah business in the front part in the back <laughs> this one i picked up in a size small this was 29.99 which i actually don't think is that bad for zara at the minute i feel like zara is slowly creeping their prices up <laughs> And yeah, that's really all I picked up from Zara at the minute. Finally, H&M. Okay, so first thing from H&M I picked up was this grey off-the-shoulder kind of knit. This was, I think, like £25. Um, I got this and the next one, which is the same, just in a different colour. In I got this one in a size small. Yeah, for £25, I thought you cannot go wrong. I can put this on with a pair of jeans. It's got leggings on at the minute. And... Anything I feel off the shoulder is like dressier. I probably would have ordered this in an extra small um, if I didn't have a bump. The exact same jumper in cream, which I actually can pull down. This is one that I can pull down and wear as a dress. I'm like, it's terrible, so it's not gonna let me show you. But I'll insert a picture because I wore this yesterday as a dress with that pretty little thing, trench coat. Um, and just a pair of boot heels to like dress it up a little bit. Um, so yeah, I could kind of hoist it up 
whereas a jumper with just again pair of leggings pair of jeans or have it longer and wear it as a dress so i got this one in a medium so i could do that the gray i wanted more as a jumper i'm not going to put these on because they are ugly as hell but i felt like it was time to invest in a pair of maternity jeans it's giving mom <laughs> it's giving mom yeah um these were how much were these it doesn't say um but yeah these will see me throughout the whole of pregnancy i picked these up in a six actually they're not the greatest like actual jean um but i feel like beggars can't be choosers i'm in a pair of super dry jeans at the minute that are really baggy that i can wear under the bump um so i'm hoping to be in them for as long as possible but yeah and like i like to tuck things in and obviously with maternity jeans you can't tuck because you've got this like stretchy waistband but i thought i'd mention them anyway as far as like maternity jeans go they're probably some of the best that i've seen i don't think they were like super expensive i don't really want to be spending loads of money on clothes i literally can't wear in like two months so yeah they were just kind of a, a must more than a want okay last couple of bits i promise so then this kind of like what color would you say this is kind of like a caramel i think it looks kind of chocolatey on the on the camera but it's more cocoa. like cocoa do you think yeah i actually also ordered this to wear as a dress because it's quite long so it actually comes just above my knees and i thought i could wear it with those black boots but again to chuck over a pair of leggings with a big coat wham bam thank you ma'am this up in a small okay final couple of bits i promise you keep then... saying that <laughs> well it is <laughs> yeah we're nearing the end um give us a give us a Okay, there's three bits left. Okay, there we go. Three pieces left. This top, I've lived in it, I'll be honest. I think I've worn it, I don't know, when did I get it? About five days ago. And I've probably worn it three out of the five days. I think it was nine pounds. And it is the Skims dupe t-shirt. The quality is unmatched, really. I want it in cream, but they don't have my size. So I've got this in a size small. Um, but highly, highly, highly recommend this i'm gonna order about five more of them <laughs> just so i can have them on rotate and then we have two coats so i find it really hard to find these kind of coats because i'm short um but h&m have really pulled through this year you can't see so let me take you over here you can see here it's kind of like a perfect length ideally i'd like it to be a little bit shorter but beggars really can't be choosers um and for the price these obviously like in some shops go for like hundreds i think i'll double check but i think this was really reasonably priced i think it was like maybe 60 pounds coat that's going to last me years i do think it's an investment like this is not going to go out of style or out of fashion I also forgot to mention, I got this in an extra small. So, the smallest size they do in it. Because, again, I'm short, so <laughs> it can't be Dutch in the ground. And then this is actually our last <laughs> item. For some reason, the black coat was, like, extra small, small, and this was in sizes. So, I got this in a size 4. And, yeah, this is the grey one on. I feel like this one's a little bit more slimming. The lighting is terrible, so I know you can't really see very well, but... Yeah, I feel like this one's a little bit more slimming than the black. But again, it's going to be a coat that I remember the prices of these off the top of my head. Yeah, that is pretty much everything I have picked up recently. Let's not talk about my credit card balance. But yeah, it was kind of everything that I was going for there was kind of things like your basics. I feel like that's a big thing at the minute. Like kitting out your basics wardrobe of things that are going to last you years to come and I feel like most of that I will wear if not all of it I will wear for years so yeah invest in your basic pieces I'd actually say that's what my like 
style is. Like, I'm really not very adventurous at all. And I like to think, like, if I saw pictures of me in, like, 20 years, I'd still wear it. So that's kind of my motto that I like to live by. I don't really like to push the boat out too much. I do think I'm a very boring dresser. But, boring. Will I have all of these clothes in 20 years? Maybe. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. As I mentioned, I will link as much as I can down below. And let me know if you like these kind of videos because I can definitely spend more money and do more hauls. Um, what a great excuse to shop. Yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Is there anything you two want to add? My little audience. Hi. Hi. The side eye. She's fighting sleeping so much. Oh, there she goes.